So here we have a rather bad picture of a vocal track and here you can see the tongue in pink and up here the roof of the mouth the hard palate, the soft palate this pink part is the soft palate and the front, the blue part is the hard palate and I'm going to pronounce the vowels and I will place the IPA symbol, that's the International Phonetic Alphabet symbol, on this picture. So if it's a front vowel, the, uh, the symbol is going to appear here. It's either going to be close, because the, the, the top of the tongue, the surface of the tongue will raise up towards the roof of the mouth, or if it's um, an open vowel, the uh, symbol will appear down here lower because the surface of the tongue will remain lower in the mouth and if it's a back vowel then the symbol will appear at the back of the mouth either close, back close or back open so let's go <coughs> so here we go the first one is an, a close front Vowel. The tip, the corner, is showing you. Okay. E. E. Perhaps I ought to explain now that the vowels are described in relation to the position of the tongue but also in relation to the shape of the lips. We either have lateral vowels which means the lips are open or we have rounded vowels which mean the lips are rounded. So the first one is the E which is a lateral front close vowel. So here we go. E okay, so that is the most close and the most front vowel in, in the English language. Let's now go to <coughs> the other extreme, a close back vowel. This is a close back vowel. Now, it is a rounded vowel. We've gone from lateral close front to a rounded close back. So here we go. Ooh, ooh. Okay. We've now gone from the two extremes where the tongue is the highest in the mouth at the front, e, and at the back, ooh. So let's demonstrate now a couple of open vowels. First of all, the open front vowel. Now this means uh, that the tongue, the, the surface of the tongue is low in the mouth but towards the front. Uh, Here we have the open back vowel and of course we went from front lateral now we're doing the uh, open back rounded vowel oh
So we've represented now the four corners. I shall put them all on here now. E A U O So let's now demonstrate a few other common vowel sounds. Here is another front vowel and it's still a lateral front vowel. In other words, the mouth is out here. A A Okay, we've gone from E to A. So here we have, it's still a front vowel and it's still a lateral vowel eh? and it's a little bit more open. A. So we started close. E. Then we went to A. Now we're at A. So what, what's happening is that the body of the tongue is gradually coming down. Remember, we're, we're still at the front. These are front vowels. And we're gradually getting more open. So in other words, the, the surface of the tongue is gradually coming down in the front of the mouth. Ah, ah, so we started with E close, A a little bit less close, A a little bit more towards open, ah. And that's the symbol you see on the screen at the moment. So, now to the most open front vowel that we have in the English language. So here we're still front. This is the most open front vowel and it's still lateral. Lateral, remember? Ah. So we started close. E close lateral E and now we're open lateral front open front lateral Ah now although you see me opening my mouth more open doesn't refer to the mouth being open it refers to the position of the tongue so, that is the front, the set of front lateral vowels. So here they are, just to remind you, they go from close, E, 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 A, Okay, from close to open, but they are all front vowels and they are all lateral vowels, lateral meaning that the lips are spread.